Hello, welcome to Alive to Thrive OT. I'm Lauren Lyman, and today I'm here with life coach Jay Curry. So we are going to interview him, find out um, what he's up to, what he does, and ways that he can help improve your health and your wellness. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Jay. Uh, Well, I used to be a business guy, and I want to say it's been about seven or eight years Mm -hmm. now since I left the business world. And um, I was really looking for a better way to do life. Yeah. And I went out and I traveled around the world, found a better way to do life. And uh, now I hope to share that with people. Great. Yeah. Um, So I came up with this term uh, called benchmark happiness. Mm -hmm. Right. And what it started to mean to me was I noticed in business that um, every time I reached a goal, I wouldn't even take the time to celebrate uh, the achievement. I would immediately launch into uh, planning the next goal. And it really became like an addiction to achieving goals. Um, And as I sort of rose in the the business world and the people I was associating with um, were more and more successful i really started to look around and said you know i don't see the strategy leading to happiness at the end of the day and Mm -hmm. i i noticed a lot of people who had a lot of things uh and happiness didn't seem to rank high on the list um and as i fell into that trap um deeper and deeper i you know I, i really did some hard looking and i said you know what i'm this isn't what i want yeah. I want to be happy. So. Now. Now? Yeah. yeah, not 10 years <laughs> from now. Um, how many people uh, sit down at their desk, they pull out their five-year plan, their 10-year plan, and they say, yo, I'm going to save this much money, I'm going to save this much money for this project, uh, we're going to do this this renovation, we're going to go on this vacation. Um, and then, you know, it just... It never seems to happen. Some something mm-hmm. you didn't didn't account for. My dad calls them uh, non reoccurring reoccurring expenses. <laughs> um, and you know they get things get pushed back mm-hmm. and pushed back and pushed back. Um, the reality is that those things won't happen until you make them happen, until they become the priority. Yeah. But essentially, what happens is we get addicted to planning for the eventuality. And not learning how to take advantage of of that right now. Mm-hmm. So you're so focused on a destination that you're not even enjoying the journey. Yeah, it's uh, losing the forest through the trees. Yeah, as they say. Yeah. So, so when uh, someone comes to you, I mean, do you do individual coaching? Do you do group sessions? What do people? What can they expect from you? So I have a few ways that people generally interface with, with me. Uh, primarily, I run a series of meditation groups. Uh, I teach a unique style of meditation called shamanic meditation. Mm-hmm. The main difference between, uh, I think, what people would normally think of as meditation, which would be Zen meditation and, sh- and shamanic meditation, uh, shamanism tries to create a meditative practice out of your life where you're essentially focusing your awareness on what you are aware of rather than an awareness of nothing. Uh, So this is the generally accepted meditation practice is Mm -hmm. focus on nothing. Empty the thoughts out of your mind. Yeah. Um, But through a number of years practicing with different mentors, I see an extreme value in the contents of your mind. Um... There is tons of information. There's a stream of information that you have access to at all times. Mm -hmm. Um, Always running. But because we're so focused on that benchmark, uh, the goal, the destination, we lose uh, connection to that information. When in reality, that information is the exact answer that you need to achieve the result. And if we just gave ourselves a little bit more time to pay attention to what was already floating on, around up there, um, we'd be much more successful much more quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, 
A famous story is Einstein, who discovered the theory of relativity while sitting in a chair, um, doing essentially shamanic meditation, where he put himself um, as a beam of light going through the universe. And he attempted to sort of interpret how that beam of light interacted with the planets as it uh, as it bent around uh, the gravitational force of the planet. Mm-hmm. Um, and this led him to the, the theory of relativity. So in a very similar way, through a shamanic style of meditation, being aware of what you are aware of, it's essentially maintaining a dream state uh, where this information is accessible. Um, so I would say that's where I interface with the most uh, number of people. Um, I host a few of those events per month. Um, and then I have a private practice where I meet with clients one-on-one individually. Uh, I do some corporate coaching uh, as well. Um, but I, my focus is really working with people who are ready for a, a change in their life, who want a different way to do things. Um, And I think that I have a unique perspective to share on that. Um, I left a very lucrative career um, to embrace a very different way of doing life. Mm -hmm. Um, And while I make far less money now, uh, I live far more. Um, And, yeah. So what are the different methods you use, modalities you use? Obviously, meditation, you talk people through things. Is there any other go-to? So I'm certified in Reiki, uh, which is a type of energy healing, Uh, although I would say that I'm not um, true to form as a Reiki practitioner. I've built my own energy healing practice uh, based on work I've had with um, three or four different mentors over the last eight years. Um, So I I have a blended energy healing uh, Mm -hmm. modality and uh, one-on-one life coaching um, and sort of general empowerment um, in different projects. Um, So I'm one of the founders of the Awake community, a suburban Chicago uh, spiritual community. And we're a, a large group of facilitators. Lauren is actually one uh, as well. And, um, and a co-founder of the, of the community. So um, I think together with the, with the Awake community, we're trying to drive um, a conversation about a better way to live mm-hmm. uh, and collect the people locally who are able to facilitate that conversation and bring it to a wider audience. Um, it is unfortunate when people feel alone. Yeah. Um, and that is one thing that is almost uh, uh, endemic in today's world with um, quarantining and um, lack, of, lack of physical communication with people. And sort of, I think now people have had a chance to examine, you know, why am I doing the things that I'm doing? It's so quickly, um, you know, I can remember just this um, trajectory that I was on at a point where you don't even notice the things that you're adding on. So, you know, there's a point, I'm so busy, I can't cook dinner. So then I signed up for a meal service, Mm -hmm. you know, and then, uh, well, that's going so well, so I'm going to sign up to get my razor blades delivered to me because, you know, that sounds cool, I'm going to do that. And then they have a clothing, uh, a clothing rental thing where they send your clothes to you. You've got, uh, I've got, uh, had, you know, Netflix subscription, cable subscription, internet subscription. I'm never home because I'm working all the time. I was working all the time. Yeah. So never got a chance to use those. Um, I had a car, uh, a boat, a motorcycle. Also, I didn't really get to use those much. Um, so, you know, it's just little by little. These things take, um, these take, things take little hits on your budget you have to work a little harder a little longer Mm -hmm. and then you know there's the next thing to get the next thing to get i remember i had bought an expensive watch at one point just to get the watch service was four hundred dollars for uh you know every five years just to have it to make it work um (laughs) so you know it's crazy and i think it's like an addiction you get so obsessed with the material things in life because you're 
you're trying to fill a void with material possessions, which is never going to fill that void. No. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that will fill the void is happiness. Um, there was a monk that I had studied with uh, for a little while, and he, someone had asked him a question about material possessions. And he sat and thought about it for a minute, and he said, well, if you're not happy with one pair of shoes, you're not going to be happy with ten pairs of shoes. And at the time, it was the perfect thing for me to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, and it really just, wham! You know, it doesn't matter how many things that you have. Um, happiness is totally separate from that. But we've tied happiness to our possessions, to our accomplishments, to the way others see us instead of the way we see ourselves. So, so what do you think sets you apart from other life coaches? Well, I'd like to think that people who get into the coaching profession um, do so because they have a unique story. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I know Lauren is as a coach as, as well, um, and we have some other coaches in our, our group. You know, um, coaching is, is, is kind of a specialty discipline, but what makes everybody the same is this desire to share. Um, what makes me unique is the path I took to get there. Um, So, you know, for those that are are sitting wanting a better way to do what they're doing, who maybe don't want to give up um, all of the material possessions but still feel there's a better way Mm -hmm. um, to do life, uh, I can be of service there. And I think that's uh, the value I bring in coaching. Great. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to say, add? Well, uh, life is a life is a, a marathon, not a sprint. Um, so little progress, little progress, little progress. Uh, just by the fact you're watching this video uh, means that you have an interest in progress. Mm-hmm. And I wish you all uh, well in that journey. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for that interview. Um, If you'd like to get in touch with Jay, if you want to visit his website, I'll put that at the bottom there. His email, if you want to share. Go Uh, ahead. (laughs) Get inspired at J, the letter J, C-U-R-R-I-E, dot guru, G-U-R-U. And then the website? is just jcurry.guru. Okay, so I will also, like I said, put that in the description so you have direct access to that. Um, So yeah, check out his website, what he's done, his journey, what he has to offer the world. He's written books, so you can check that out too. And uh, as always, thank you for joining us. Please like the video, share the video so more people know about Jay and what he has to offer. If you could subscribe to our channel and sign up for alerts so you know when we post more videos. And as always, we are wishing you physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health and wellness. Thank you for joining us.